Christ doesn't want none to perish. None to perish, but come to repentance. He says you come to repentance. you got to come. Come and taste the sea of the Lord is good. Are you willing to come? It says you must draw near to God. For God to draw near to you, you have to draw near to Him. Are you willing to draw near to Him? Are you willing to surrender? Are you willing to let God be your Lord and King? Or the things of the world? Your TV ain't going to save you. Your iPod ain't going to save you. Where we spend more time with it. Our cell phones, our internet. Things we spend quality time. It's not really quality. Like you think. So what if I live my life as the sinner? And then when I'm 90 and I'm dying, I'm a born again Christian. I realize that Jesus is the way. I'm fine. I hope and here I go. I hope when you're hitting that telephone pole, you're thinking about God, not hitting the telephone pole. Because you, if you're driving, it's like you like an attitude like this. Well, if I'm driving, I hit. I'm here's the telephone pole. You ain't even thinking about God. You're like, oh, damn, you're God. You don't have time to repent. You have no time. I hope God allows you that grace when you do. Turn. I guarantee tomorrow is what he's trying to say. Well, if you die today, just walking down, somebody shoots you right in the head. A gang member. Bam. Do you have time to repent and believe in Jesus? No. It's too quick, man. Your life is like a vapor. Your life you're could saying, be gone tonight. You're saying if you're not, if you're not completely uh, intact with Jesus and you talk to pray to Jesus every day, then you're going to hell. You got to be born again to enter the kingdom of God. Born again. When, that, when in the Bible does it say you have to be born again? John 3, 3, 3, 5, and 3, 7. And Peter talks about being born as a new creation, new creature. And uh, Paul talks about a new creation too. You gotta be a new creature. It says if you're not born again, you're not going to You will not enter the kingdom of God. You know who said who will not enter the kingdom of God? Who? First, it talks about Paul's writings. Liars, thieves, infidites, homosexuals, covenants, and so on. Liars, thieves, so on and so on. And you know, Revelation says to enter the lake of fire. The great white throne in Revelation 20. In Revelation 21, 8 tells you a list of sins. And they, then they enter the lake of fire. Is that what you want? Do you want to go to hell? So what's wrong with being a homosexual? Because it's against God's standard. It's not natural. How many kids do you have? If you had two fathers, you wouldn't be you here. Have? If you had two mommies, you wouldn't be here, would all right, you? All right, how many kids do you have? I got two beautiful kids. Because I, I have sex with my wife. My wife. You have, you have two kids. How long have you been married? I've been married, well, eight, eight years now. Eight years? So yeah. you've only had sex with your wife twice? No, man. So how, how you I, I'm allowed to have sex with my wife. What, you shoot blanks? I don't know, maybe. God gives me gifts. I'm blessed. Are you blessed? You've what are you never, blessed you've for? You've never used any type of contraception. I have in the past. I felt guilty about it. God's changed my life with that. I don't know more. <laughs> God's changed me. See how He changed me? Where well, I didn't come to wrong. And, you know, why would I want to take something away that God's given me? You know, everybody's like an attitude. Well, if I have 10 kids, I can't. I see people with 12 kids in full time ministry and they're living fine. God is maturing me where I want to trust his son Jesus more and more. See? You need to trust your life. You need to trust your life with Jesus. You know? He's just warning you, man. You don't want to walk away like your friends, man. You want a Bible track or something? You want a Gospel of John? They're free, man. You want a Bible? You got Bibles, man. Open your Catholic that. Bible when you get home. Read John 3.3. 3. It says a man cannot enter heaven unless he's born again. Open your Catholic Bible up, John 3.3. 3. It's in there, man. Catholic Bible has it, too. It doesn't mention purgatory, by the way. When you put your head on your pillow tonight. No. You don't believe what's at all. It's not in the Bible. Really? You're either a sheep or a goat. Really? There's no such thing as pigs well, in between. You die, you go to heaven he said he's going to separate the sheep and goats. The sheep go to heaven, Matthew 25, and the goats go to hell, Matthew 25. Really? There's no in between like a pig or, or a chicken. That go to purgatory, no. A sheep or a goat, either or. If you're hot, cold, if you're lukewarm, he'll spit you out till you make a choice to choose him or not. He'll spit you out till you make a choice. You choose God or you choose the world. You have a choice to make. You have a decision to make. This is your life. So this I is eternally. So I went to Catholic school since I was eight years old. Okay. All right. All right. And I'm a senior in high school right now. All right. And. Bro, all the years I've been there, they have told me there has been a purgatory. All that is bullshit. But they started to change their doctrine so much. I'm just saying, my father has wasted all his money, me growing up, to learn the Catholic ways. I used to be in the same shoes. I used to be in the same shoes. I used to go to CCD and all that stuff. 
My mom used to drop me off there. I used to be the same thing you did. But when I read my Bible, I saw contradictions. God convicted my heart. He pierced my heart to show Greg. Greg, you don't you don't pray to Mary. Greg, so that's my name, by the way. Contradictions in the Bible. Then why do you read the Bible? I read the Bible. No contradictions against the Catholic Church. What they're teaching, just like the Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, the the Jesuits, the Freemasons, it's all false doctrine. The Joe Austin. What's the proof that this God is the right God? So all the all the other people who believe in other gods, they're all fucked. They're like, going straight to hell. They're in trouble. No, they're not in trouble at all. God is God, no matter what you believe in. So you making up your own God in your own head I'm right now? I'm not making up my own God. Yes, I'm you going are. by what what Catholic school taught me. What they taught, but there's false teachers. That's what they teach. Sheep and wolf, wolf and sheep clothing. Open your catechism. You ever read the catechism? I have. Eight, 841 says no salvation outside the Catholic Church. What does that mean? That's deep, right? No I salvation outside of the Catholic Church. Catechism 841. Open it up. So you're saying there's no salvation outside of the Catholic Well, you know why? Let me ask you. you do you know, uh, do you just go to Catholic Church? Let me ask you. What, what do you think Jesus was doing on the cross? What was he doing up there? Having fun. fun. To God. He died a brutal death on the cross. Yeah, he was That's right. To save his exactly. All so, his people. All his no, people. No. God all so loved the world. This is one of the biggest verses in the Bible. If God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whoever believes 